Hey Pisces, it's Star with Eyes of the Stars Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm going to be doing your readings for um, now through February 15th. So we'll start off with love for Pisces, male and females. Let's see what's happening with you guys. Something wanted to come out, but it did not, so it'll come back around. Okay, first up is keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Oh, that was quick. The next card is you deserve love. You are lovable. Um, I feel like for you couples, there's definitely been sort of a rough spot in the relationship. There may have been arguments or just not seeing eye to eye on things. Okay, but you still have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Um, for you singles... I feel like also maybe you've hit a dry spell. Um, you're just finding it hard to find that person that really does it for you. But there is someone that you are interested in. It's just that there's like a hesitancy here. Like you kind of doubt yourself. I feel like this is more about you than it is about the other person. But let's see what comes up with the cloud fires. I'm not going to take that, but I'll keep it in mind it was the magician. Okay. And we have two cards that came out. We have the Ace of Pentacles, or the Ace of Coins, and the Eight of Swords. So, yeah, definitely there's something, you know, some thought process or some... Uh, prejudice or I don't know why I said prejudice but let's go with it um, just something that mentally holds you back from accepting like a new opportunity for, for those of you who are single it's somebody who's really showing some kind of promise like they really want something solid with you uh, but you're holding yourself back because it's like this person doesn't really fit the criteria of the person that you would normally um, be dating or that they just seem like they're too good to be true. So all these thoughts are what, you know, it's just holding you back from moving forward with this person. We have the lovers for you deserve love. For you couples... The same thing. There's like some kind of new beginning between the two of you. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be like you're moving in together or you're getting engaged or you're getting married. It's like a new beginning um, that has long-term promise. Um, for others of you, it could be like buying a house, investing somehow, investing in real estate, um, buying a house together. Something major, having a child even. Uh, but you're, you're at odds with each other. We have the Four of Swords here also clarifying you deserve love. There's something that you're deciding upon that it's like you're in your thoughts. You have the Eight of Swords and the Four of Swords as well. So both of these people are in their thoughts. Okay, one feels stuck while the other one is just taking some time out to kind of think about things, make some kind of decision here with the uh, lovers. I feel like for some of you, for you singles, it's it's the decision of whether or not, you know, is this too good to be true or is this something real? Um, because what, you, what you're feeling is real. Let's see what that is. Ooh, see, 
what you're feeling is real. It's the Ace of Cups. So this is like somebody realizing, you know, that they may be falling for someone and you're kind of hesitant. You don't know if you should, you know, let it be. Mm-hmm. King of Cups, because your emotions are kind of all over the place. You're not as composed as you normally are. Okay, these these are like butterflies in your stomach and you don't really like it because you kind of feel like out of control. So that's for you singles. There is somebody that, that is kind of stirring your interest, but it's like you're afraid. You're really being, you're thinking about it, overthinking it, basically. Um, but it's real, is what it's saying. That's for you singles. For you couples, again, I feel like there's some kind of discord with regards to like taking uh, a next step at something or, you know, uh, doing something between the two of you that's new. That could be a little scary, so you're kind of all in your thoughts. Um, and this could be like going to the next level in your relationship if that's getting married, if that's getting engaged, you know, kind of thinking about it because you do love this person. Um, but again, there's... Uh, it's like you don't want to lose yourself is what I feel. Like you're still hesitant on giving it 100%. You're you're at like 98%. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I'm getting there. So let's move on to your Celtic cross and see what else we get. This is for Pisces, male and females, for now through February 15th, for love and relationships. Okay, so the first card we have is the moon. Um, there could be some secrets. I've got two. Uh, what's crossing you, we have the Nine of Pentacles reverse, came out with the Hermit reverse, so I'm going to take both of them. There's a lot of overthinking here about something, like you're not confident about something, or you're not sure even like what your intentions are or what somebody else's intentions are. Like there's a fear, so it's leading to a, like question yourself, question your own inner knowledge. I feel like you know the answer. It's just you're you're doubting yourself, doubting your emotions. Okay, in your foundation again, we got two cards. We have the Seven of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse. So what I feel is um, some of you could be, there's something, you know, within this relationship that is like frustrating you to no end, you know, like there's things you want to do, places you want to go and you feel like you're being held back and you're tired of like waiting around for things to happen that, you know, you want to get started on immediately, but your partner has been holding you back. And I feel like this is making you like question your your own emotions. You know, question whether or not you're in the right relationship. 
Okay, in the past we have death reverse. So, yeah, there's like something that you feel should really need or should change or really needs to change. Um, nothing has been changing. It's like you want to progress. You want to transform your life. You want to see progress, see things happening, see things, you know, flourishing, but they're not. Okay, things aren't moving, and this is causing frustration, like with these two cards, um, you know, especially both of them together in the reverse, it's like very frustrated, angry, um, irritable, you know, because there's things that need to change, you know, the cycles, the moon is a lot about cycles, um, and especially coming out of this full moon, it's kind of that energy, like knowing that you... You need to progress. You need to put certain things behind you so that you can make room for new projects, new ideas. Um, and I feel like your partner is somehow holding you back from that. Or you, that's your perception. have the king of cups reverse so that's your energy here this is how you're feeling is kind of emotionally imbalanced like you don't know what to think anymore you were so clear on what your feelings were um, but there's something that's just okay in the near future we have the magician so right now I feel like you guys may be you can't really see the forest from the trees kind of right now. Um, you're kind of in a in a little bit of a fog, not knowing, you know, if you're coming or going because there's just things that, that really get under your skin, you know? So it's like affecting the way that you interact with your partner. Um, but it looks like you're making something happen here in the near future because you have the magician We'll clarify and see what that means, but magician is about manifesting, you know, manifesting whatever it is that you want because you have everything that you need to make it happen. Okay, we've got two cards for how you see yourself. We have the, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Two of Swords reverse. So... There is something that you want to start. There is something new. This Ace of Pentacles is coming up again for you. It's, um, you know, like I said, all the things that I named before. It could be like you wanting to buy a house. You wanting to have a child. You wanting to um, just start a, a more formalized relationship. You want to get engaged. You want to get married. You get the idea. So it's like this is something that you've already decided that you want in your life. And that's... You know, the good thing is that in the near future, you do have magicians, so you do have all these aspirations, and it looks like you'll have what it takes to make all these things happen. Um, but the question is, like, how does that fit into your relationship? Because right now, that's the vibe that I'm getting, is that you kind of feel held back by the person that you're with. could be like creatively okay how they see you is the six of swords so they kind of see you detaching yourself from them um, like mentally you're off in your own little world you know when you guys are together it's like are you really together I'm only going to take the one that was up, upright I mean um, you know face up uh, we have the knight of coins or the knight of pentacles here for your hopes or fears I'm feeling like this is more of a fear because the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest night. So I feel like that's what you're fearing is like we're still going to continue going at a snail's pace. Okay, and the overall outcome we have the Six of Wands reverse. Okay, at the bottom of the deck we have the Wheel of Fortune upright. So something is definitely changing. I feel that, yeah... 
Um, I do feel that, you know, you, you and your partner might be having like some arguments, some really immature conversations um, that are going to be, you know, kind of cutting, okay, and, and uh, could be explosive as well. So just be careful with that. But I do feel like that's going to bring about a change. I feel like, you know, when, when things get to that point, it makes you just see things from a totally different perspective. And I feel like it brings about a more positive change in the relationship. Um, I feel like, you know, you're going to start facing reality. I feel like you kind of, because you have the Seven of Swords coming up here. And to me, I'm reading it as like, you've kind of been lying to yourself, you know, on certain things that you're just not satisfied with. Um, and this has been causing a burden in your relationship because if you would just, you know, use this power from the emperor to just say what's all, what's on your mind and get these burdens off your back, you know, if you would just communicate about it because the seven of swords, the swords are about communication. So it's like dishonest communication can also be like not having communication at all, you know, because you're not allowing, um, you know, your thoughts to get out there so that the other person knows what's going on. So it's kind of like holding back and that's causing conflict within your relationship. But I feel like if you just are allow yourself to see that, you know, to see things from a different perspective, then you have a chance at changing um, the dynamic that you currently have between your partner. So let's see. Um, let me see what the moon is about. Okay. Yeah, it's about cycles. The Wheel of Fortune and the Magician. So things are changing. You're going to be able to manifest things that maybe in the past you had more of a resistance, you know, and you weren't able to get things off the ground. I feel like, you know, probably with this eclipse, your energy is kind of cleared and they, something has been reset. Okay, it's like the start of a new cycle that could have been um, triggered by this full moon eclipse that we just had. So you're going to be able to now manifest. Um, I, I don't even know the card I was clarifying, so I'm going to put that back. Sorry. That's what happens when I, you know, get to talking. So, yeah, that's what I'm getting there for, for that moon. It's like things are changing around you. And, you know, things are kind of starting to go your way. So you're doubting. You're, you're, it's like you don't want to get your hopes up. You don't feel confident about it. It's like good things are happening, but it's, but you're like, what? Okay, we have the devil reverse. So there was like some kind of, um, negative energy that was, you know, around your relationship. And I feel like you're, uh, now able to clear that energy as well. Like there was definitely an energy shift around you. Let me see the seven of pentacles and nine of wands reverse together. We have the three of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like, you know, you guys had to like hit rock bottom. Like you had to get really angry. <laughs> For your partner to kind of like wake up and, and see, okay, I got to get on board here because this is causing a lot of issues in our relationship. And I feel like you manifested some sort of change um, in the dynamic of your home, which say that's what I see was the issue there. So you were able to kind of release some neg negativity between the two of you. And now, um, you know, as a result of hitting rock bottom and having to get really angry and frustrated, I feel like your partner kind of got on board and, you know, understood that there needed to be change, okay, because I do feel like this change was long coming, you know, with this death card reverse, it's like something that, you know, didn't want to change, didn't want to end, so, uh, you know, I feel like somebody decided to just walk away from the struggle, like end the struggle, you know, stop playing games and kind of get with the program.
king of wands reverse. So yeah, that's like, I feel like there's, there was stubbornness here. For some reason, I'm getting that energy that there was some kind of stubbornness, like they didn't want to give in and be the first to change or be the first to say I'm sorry or be the first, you know what I mean? Like they knew what they had to do because the king of wands already are, like always knows what he has to do and what he's going to do. Um, but when he's reversed, it's like he's not really taking the action that he knows he needs to take for whatever reason, because he's angry or because he is, uh, I don't know, being irresponsible. Um, so it was more like a matter of getting to the point where it had to be made really clear. The communication needed to be there. That's what was missing. So you needed to have that explosive moment or that fight to see... <laughs> You know how bad it could really get and how quickly and out of control it can get so you know in order to bring about that change that was needed um but i feel like you're still doubting or you're still yeah you know, it's like you're still doubting whether like how long this is going to last oh, for christ's sakes um okay we got two cards, nine of wands reverse and the four of cups reverse. So, yeah, I feel like you guys got really close to just throwing in the towel. And now it's like, yeah, you're giving it a second chance or whatever. You're putting effort into it, but it's you're, you're doing it this time, like from a more pessimistic stance. Okay, for the magician, we have the eight of swords reversed. So that is good. Okay, so these thought processes that you're having right now, this negativity is going to disperse. Okay, it's just going to go. Um, and then you're finally going to be able to see that, you know, you are the boss of you. Like you have the power to make whatever life it is that you want happen, happen. So if you just want to not believe in your relationship and kind of mope around and Think about all the things that aren't satisfying you rather than, you know, seeing the better side of your relationship. If that's, if, if you decided to stay in your relationship, there must be something good about it. So, you know, kind of paying more attention to that, um, seeing things from a different perspective so that you see, start to see the fruits of your labor, you know, so all of this, all this really takes is you letting go of those old thoughts that that were holding you back in this relationship and you know kind of believing in it again believing in your partner again because yeah i do feel like there was you know again like this feeling of being held back and kind of disappointed um and and you know it's going to be in different aspects for each of you um and and just plans of things that you want to do that you're very determined to do um, for, but for some reason there's like delays or blockages yeah we have the two of swords twice clarifying those two cards so it's like you've already decided what you want we have the three of sword uh, three of wands i'm sorry three of wands reverse so it's like you know for me with three of wands upright is kind of a passive card he's he's just standing there waiting for his ships to come in it's like he knows something's coming in but he's just standing there waiting for it to come to him and i feel you know with the cards that are here um i'm seeing this as just not being that passive like being more decisive and more proactive about making this thing happen whatever this thing is for you and not taking like no for an answer anymore. <clears throat> so if you did feel held held back before by your partner, I feel like you're not doing that anymore. Um, how your partner sees you is six of swords clarified by the nine of cups reverse. So they definitely feel that you're not satisfied with them and you're, you know, maybe thinking about leaving or looking elsewhere <clears throat> um, for satisfaction. Okay, 
we have the strength card. So I do feel like they, they feel that you're trying, but that you're just not really, they're not satisfying you. The nothing that, nothing that they do um, makes you happy. Okay, for the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Lovers Reverse and the Knight of Pentacles Reverse. So, yeah, I feel like you're fearing that this is going to continue, that, you know, these behavior patterns of, like, not being on top of things or not wanting the same things that you want and kind of holding you back in your projects or your, you know, your goals or desires, um, you're fearing that that's what's going to happen, like you not making a decision to either, you know, change something in this relationship and just staying stagnant. So for the overall outcome, we have the Six of Wands reversed, which is, you know, feeling like things aren't working out or not being successful. Let's see. Yeah, we have the Page of Cups reversed. So this is like being disappointed at something. Something doesn't work out. <clears throat> okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles reverse. Um, for some of you, those of you who are married, I feel like there's some type of disappointment with regards to money you may lose like some some kind of court case or for some of you even it could be like a divorce you get news of a divorce um like somebody serves you divorce papers or you decide to serve somebody divorce papers um i got one more Okay, I got two more. I got the King of Pentacles reverse and the Six of Wands. Interesting. Okay, so I feel like some of you could be with a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. And I feel like this person like makes you feel like it's all about them. Like it's it's their way or the highway. They make all the financial decisions and they're not always the best decisions. So it's like you're not being... The, okay, so there's like another disappointment here because what I'm feeling is like for some of you, especially if you're a Pisces woman, okay, I feel like your partner um, wants to be the head of the household. He's like very traditional in thinking and, you know, wants to feel like the hero of the family okay but his decision making isn't always the greatest so there's there's you know some sort of loss financial loss or financial disappointment um as a result of like kind of playing along because you come up as the page here whereas your partner comes up as the king um you're both in reverse so it's like neither one of you is really in your you know like behaving at your peak, shall we say. Um, so it's like you're trying to, for some people, it's going to be like overspending. Definitely. I feel like somebody's definitely overspending here um, just to, you know, keep up with the neighbors or, you know, just to be able to look good and get attention basically. Um, or, you know, just for themselves. I'm not trying to say that they're like trying to get attention from somebody else. It could be, but I, I'm, that's not really what I was saying. It's just just feeling good overall. So they're overspending, causing issues and disappointments again within your, um, you know, family or within your relationship, definitely. So yeah, that's what I'm getting. So let's move on to your general reading and see what comes up there. I feel like this is like, you know, all stuff that can be avoided um, just with honest communication. I know for some people that's a little more difficult than for others. 
but it's got to happen at some point, so it's usually best when you haven't like blown a fuse already. <laughs> We have the magician. The six of pentacles reverse. Wands reverse. The chariot. And the five of swords reverse. Okay. Either you guys feel like you were manipulated or you've been manipulating someone. Um, like somebody was stringing somebody along. And not necessarily a relationship. This could have been like, you know, like a sale, some sort of sale that where someone was getting ripped off. You know, and someone made away with a ton of money here with this chariot. Just walked away in, in, a, like, a negative way. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Yeah, I feel like somebody either was playing with your emotions or you were playing with somebody's emotions. Three of Pentacles reverse. Um, this could have even been like a work situation for some of you. Uh, you know, like somebody was promising big things for you, promotion, a bonus. Uh, and then it turns out that it, they didn't deliver. You know, they really didn't deliver on their promise. And, you know, they got your hopes up and everything. Especially with the Six of Pentacles reverse here. And we have the Page of Wands reverse. So something that you were really excited about, like a new beginning. I feel like for a lot of you, this was a promotion, a new job. Some communication about something, a new project. Um, and you're not getting any of this, so it's like maybe you're not getting your commissions that you should be because you're not getting like the clientele being uh, sent your way or something like that for some of you. Okay, the fool. Yeah, I'm getting strongly like um, a promotion. Like, you know, somebody doesn't want to take a chance on you. So it's like you're missing out on some sort of bonus or promotion because they, they just don't want to, you know, maybe they, they need to give you some sort of reference or something or referral. Okay, for the three of wands reverse, we have the hangman. So yeah, it's like, you're, you've been waiting for something that's never going to come. It's like been a long wait. 
and you realize that it's just not going to happen. Okay. So let's see what this chariot is about. Okay. So somebody's lies are exposed. Or, yeah. Too many. Or like you successfully find something out about someone that they were lying about. Okay. And it's like you're able to protect yourself just in time and outsmart this person. So, yeah, for a lot of you, I feel like this is like a work situation is what I'm seeing. Some kind of like conflict at a work situation. Somebody's holding you back from like a new position, a new beginning at your job. Um, projects that you want to be assigned to. Um, you've been waiting for something to come and, you know, you realize that, you know, it's just not going to happen for you because I feel like this person somehow they were scheming, you know, there was something, something, maybe jealousy involved, um, for you guys. Uh, but I feel like you were able to just protect yourself just in time. Like I said, um, with the five of swords, you just turned your back on this conflict in this situation or you will. Okay. We have the Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Knight of Wands reverse. I, I, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles reverse. Um, I feel like whatever this conflict was is what was holding you back. That was, that's was that been your blockage. That's why you've been so dissatisfied and so disappointed, you know, in whatever the situation is for you. Um, but I feel like for most of you, it's going to be like a work situation. Um, I feel like the opportunities are there for you uh, once you get, you know, clear this negative energy that you have going on there at work, like somebody's kind of jealous of you or um, they kind of have it out for you a little bit. So just watch out for that. But that's what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for listening. Um, and I will see you again in your mid-month of February. Bye, Pisces.